Next news is from the UK. Uh, the title says teacher banned from schools after describing Islam as a vile religion. Really? I hope there's more to this because basically the title is saying teacher banned from schools for telling the truth. Let me see what the summary is saying. A primary school teacher has been banned for life from the profession after he told people's all... Okay, this guy is the is not it, it is he is vile okay i thought maybe he was only saying truth claims but look he's saying all mexicans were criminals okay so the title is a little bit misleading because this guy is actually a bigot uh maybe i don't know actually based on what we're based on what the summary is saying a tribe if the if the summary is accurate there's always a chance that the news is not being reported accurately and if that's true, let us know in the comment section. But let's see what it's saying. It, uh, Philip Turner, 52, was found to have made a series of inappropriate remarks during lessons at Mary Elton Primary School in uh, Clevedon, um, Somerset. Uh, am I reading it right? Okay. The disciplinary tribunal heard Turner told children that people of ethnic minority should leave the country. If they are unhappy with domestic policies, uh, while he also posted anti-Islamic comments on Facebook, Turner was given a life ban after he was found guilty of unacceptable professional conduct at the hearing in uh, Coventry. This is so stupid. Why are they acting like this is the same? Like, okay, so he said all, Mex all Mexicans were criminal, which is absolutely racist. And should be the response is right, like yeah, you can't teach if you have views like that. But they're putting it next to the view that anti-Islamic views. So look at what they picked. This is one from the Telegraph. Look at what they picked from the title. So to shock the, t the title that people pick usually is supposed to be the one that gets people clicking the most, right? Uh, and what's the most shocking and what's the most like, oh my god, this guy is a racist or something, right? So between saying all Mexicans were criminals and saying that Islam is a vile religion, they thought that the one that is more shocking and the one that this guy is probably is responsible for more to be a bigot or something was the title... The, is the title here's the title the title says teacher banned from schools after describing islam as a vile religion so they thought this is the worst this is worse than the mexican one mexicans were criminal see how they put them next to each other as if they're the same kind of view like they're putting anti-islamic views next to absolutely racist views like these people you see these things as the same how far behind are we if people see these things as the same like I was gonna, I thought I'm gonna come defend this guy based on his first comment, Islam is a vile religion, which it absolutely is, and then he, they realize no, this guy is an actually actual bigot. But to me, the fact that they're putting these next to each other shows to me that at least the authors of this article think like, yeah, they're they're, they're pretty much <laughs> in the in the same you know category. What do you think? Does that suggest the same thing to you? Mm. No, it's not. I mean, he, this guy is completely a bigot racist. And I may, I think I'm not sure. I cannot be 100% sure of it. But it is very likely that this guy thinks Islam is a race, not a religion. Yeah. He just thinks, oh, yeah, brown people, they're Muslims. Yeah, this guy is a bigot. We're not going to defend this guy. And he, he got what he deserved and all that. But to me, the article is more revealing that... Okay. Yeah, the article is very biased and I mean, it's so messed up if they think like this is a more accurate title to represent him. Right. Like anyone would think, oh, this guy was bad. He said the truth and he was bad. Yeah. No, there's like, I mean, I think, I mean, from how the article started, it is very likely that this guy was already banned when he said all Mexicans were criminals. And then he just added to it that okay. Islam is very viable. Oh, okay. religion. It, mm, if he was only removed for saying Islam is a vile religion, and then he later said Mexicans were criminals, then his dismissal is not, um, you know, right. 
But in any in either way, the fact that the article decided uh, the the Telegraph decided to put that in the headline as if that was the major concern makes me concerned for the state of everything. Let me see what the top comment is saying. The two top comments. Mark is saying he wasn't wrong, but obviously some people would frown on such comment. Personally, I have promoted the guy. Well, Mark, you didn't actually read the article. This is why the, what's the problem with the, the headline, the title. I mean, the title makes it seem like he's right. Joe is saying, while I agree with the statement, the teacher's job is to instruct, not give their opinions. Also, a ban from schools. That's not true. The teachers, teachers give their opinions all the time. Uh, I, I have some of my best teachers in my school years were giving their opinions left and right. And I'm, I'm a better person because I heard their opinions. Okay, there are uh, also a ban from school seems harsh unless this was a repeat offense. This, okay, Joe is just judging it only by the title, not based on the Mexican thing. And if, you, if you're just judging it based on what he, that Islam is a vile religion, then it's, it, shouldn't, it doesn't matter if it was a repeat offense because it shouldn't be an offense at all. Islam is a vile religion. Assuming this was the first time, how, if, if, would the teacher get fired if they come and say, like, atheism is vile? I bet you not. I don't know, maybe they would. I, no, that's, that's uh, religious privilege. Right. They can say that because of their religion. Yeah. They won't get mad at you. Like, if a, if a teacher comes and like, oh yeah, I'm a Christian, I believe in Jesus, nobody's gonna fire them. Because like, oh, that's your opinion. And if, imagine if you get fired for just saying, oh, I'm a Christian, I believe in Jesus as our Lord and Savior. Nobody's like, oh, that's your opinion. Why did you say that? You shouldn't say that at school. Fired, right? Nobody's going to say that. But if you say Islam is vile, you get fired. You should be able to say that. The Mexican part is the main problem. But it seems like people think, okay. Uh, Joe continues saying, assuming this was the first time uh, the teacher has made the type of statement, I think a uh, reprimand of the administration would have been satisfactory. No, there should have been no punishment if that's what all he said. Uh, okay. Oh, Joe added an edit. Should have read the article first before commenting based on just the headline. I am now aware he was banned after a series of remarks, not just this one. Yeah, you are right. But it seems like you, Joe, thinks that just the Islam part was good enough to get some sort of a punishment, which is not true. If you think Islam is vile, you should get, you should be able to say that. We should live in a world where you could say Islam is vile, and you should not. Be able to lose your job, like unless it's equal for everybody else. Unless, if you lose your job, if we live in a world where you can say Islam is vile and you lose your job, then it should be equal. Then, if you also say atheism is vile, you should lose your job. Either none of them lose their job or they both lose their job. But we don't live in a world where if you say atheism is vile, you lose your job. No, only Islam enjoys that level of privilege in, in a country like United Kingdom, okay? Even Christianity doesn't enjoy that level of privilege in uh, United Kingdom. Islam enjoys more privilege than Christianity, atheism. It's not fair, and if you don't see how this is not fair, then I don't know what to tell you. You're just not very smart. Um, uh, from, from what I uh, read, is like... Uh, three of her remarks were referenced for her ban and two being against uh, Islam, one of which is like Islam is a vile, vile, vile religion and the other one is Islam is a cancer to the world. But the another one and that's referenced was like uh, some girl, I mean, she, he was saying like uh, girl, American girls are being raped by people who, are, who don't have a right to be in their country. Right. Um... See, okay, it's not just only like it's not just about Mexican. If it was, if the statement was like, "Oh, Muslims are vile," then that would I would agree that you should be fired for that as well, right? I'm I'm very fair, right? Like when it comes to, I'm very I think I'm very consistent on this, right? Um, if the same if if the only thing the teacher said that Islam is a vile religion, well, you don't have to add religion; you just say it's vile because all religions are vile. But if you just said Islam is vile, and that was all you said, I would defend this teacher. But if the same teacher said Muslims are vile, then you're like, yeah, you should lose your job. I would be on the other side of this. Um, Boogie Monster Mom is saying, I see this, co this in comment sections all the time. 
people literally calling someone racist because they have anti-Islamic views, and I feel like it's because of how this is presented. Exactly. And she, Boogie Monster Mom continues, it's disturbing because it's like Islam has a shield around it because that religion is being seen as some sort of race and therefore can't be criticized. Yeah, and, and to be fair, this is also true for Judaism. In fact, it's more true for Judaism. If you go after Judaism, you get accus accused of bigotry as well, especially because the word Jew me is sometimes referring to something religion based on religion and sometimes it's referring to something based on ethnicity and it keeps switching back and forth between that so it confuses people so you can't go after Judaism without people thinking you're racist somehow imagine how complicated this would be with Islam we already have people accusing us of racism for going after Islam which obviously I don't have to explain to you guys why that's insane but imagine how much more of a problem this would be if the word for Arab and the word for Muslim were the same two words, right? It's the same thing. Like if you use the same word for the, for the to refer to Arab and Muslim. And so every time you go after Islam, it would seem like you're going after a certain ethnicity. So the accusation of racism will be even more. So we have that problem with Judaism. So it's not just Islam that, you know, it's, it's actually now more with Judaism. It's, it's, we have trained people to know that we're not all bigots when we go after Islam. And we have made a lot of progress on that. With Judaism, we're very far behind. Like I'm like getting a lot, I'm trying to be at the front lines at this, and I'm going after Judaism more more recently, just to desensitize people. Uh, just because there's a lot more sensitivity there. Apparently, you can't touch Judaism, and uh, and when people tell me that you can't talk about something, it makes me talk more about it. <laughs> but that's. Uh, let me see what the. Okay, Shopam, did you want to add anything to this? No. All right. News. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has? What's holding you back? Okay. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like bell, <laughs> and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think it's no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well. And share, share our videos because... You know, we do get demonetized, that's an obvious, on every one of our videos, so F that, but we don't care about that anymore. <laughs> but we also get deprioritized, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized, what does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that, you know, on, the, on people's homepages, and that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos 